guys, how's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do what sold videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do hauls like this. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So it's another pretty hot day in my office. Um, and this is kind of the background I'm working with right now. I don't know if this will be my background forever. Hopefully the different colors aren't too distracting. But I wanted to share with you guys a few more things that I've picked up since I've moved to the Bay Area. I live pretty much in the East Bay, so like 30 minutes outside of San Francisco, kind of near Walnut Creek if you're familiar. Um, and I went to a few um, thrift stores in my area and I want to share with you guys what I purchased and how much I paid for these items. I already sold a couple of things so I'll talk about those as well and I'm gonna go store by store. So hopefully I've already photographed and listed a bunch of these things and I actually was put them away but hopefully I grabbed everything back. So I'll start with the first Goodwill that I went to. Um, they've been interesting I will say that they have set prices so that's been both like a good and a bad thing I guess if you find something amazing you know it's gonna be that one set price they're not gonna uh price up those things but also they don't have sale days at my goodwill it's not like yellow tags are 50% off this week or this day or anything it's just like I don't know maybe they have certain discount days like on holidays but when I went, there were no discounts. So, good and bad, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I did find at least one Goodwill that I actually really enjoyed. I, this is the less good Goodwill, I guess I'll start with. This is the first one I went to. Um, this, I found, I went through the dresses and I did actually find a couple of pretty nice dresses. This is 100% silk. It has this really fun kind of like crystal, geoid maybe not kind of crystal geometric pattern um and like kind of like a dip in the back and this brand I won't say I've had like the best of luck with but I've never really sold any of their pieces myself because all the pieces I found are kind of not in great condition um but this is Millie this is Millie of New York I don't know if that's older or if it's technically different but yeah cute three-quarter length sleeve this would be really precious um, for like a wedding or a cocktail party and yeah I paid I think the dresses at the Goodwills I go to are $9.99 um, which is cheaper than the jeans the jeans are $10.99 which I would think you would price dresses up more and then I got this piece which is also a dress so again $9.99 um, it's like I think they call this like a watercolor pattern it's really pretty this would have been great for the summer I have a feeling I might be sitting on it until next summer um but yeah really pretty it has this fun like cut out in the middle that goes to the back it's like the same on the front and the back and then this is also Millie but this is just Millie but I think it's still the same brand um this was actually sold on Revolve I think for somewhere between two and three hundred dollars I want to say the lining is kind of messed up on the inside. I don't know if someone ripped out the paddings or it just, the stitching, looks like the stitching line just came undone. I don't know. I noted that, but I don't really think it matters very much because you can't really tell um, from the outside when you're wearing it. This was kind of a risky buy and I don't really know how this will sell, but it is a vintage dress and the brand is Fiesta. Um, I just really liked the way it looked made in the USA and it's a size extra large. It's a floor length red kind of like asymmetric strap. This is just the other strap but like that the thinner one and the thicker one and then it has all this really pretty really pretty floral beading. <laughs> um, and yeah I just thought that it was a really nice piece. I think I could see someone buying this for like prom or even um, like a winter wedding if you're going to a black tie um, wedding. Yeah, I think this kind of style of dress, I believe probably like 90s, I want to say, um, is still pretty trendy. I sold a 90s dress last May 
for someone that said they were gonna wear it to prom, so. And then I went to the jeans section. This Goodwill is actually the Goodwill. If you saw my first San Francisco haul video where I found those Tory Burch shoes, so I was excited to go back to it, but the Tory Burch, I mean, I found great brands, um, but the Tory Burch I think was kind of like a fluke. It made me think that they had like really great stuff and they just had a few pretty good items. Um, they did have a lot of cute sweaters that were low, lower end brands. So I don't know how much they wanted for sweaters, probably around nine or $10. Just just too high for me to pay for something that I might only be able to move for 20 to 30. Uh, so that's why I'm trying, if I'm gonna pay $10, I want the sales to be in kind of like the 50 plus range if I can get them there. Um, but yeah, I picked up these jeans. It's been a while since I found this brand. Uh, it's Mother and they're black, skinny, in really, really great condition, high rise. These are the Stunner Zip Ankle Step Fray. They don't have zip, so I don't really know what that means, but they are like a step frayed hem. And yeah, cute. These were $10.99, which I think is worth it. Mother is a great um, jean brand. I have not found it in a really long time. The first couple times I found it, I actually found it at the Portland Bins, like back to back, I wanna say. Um, but yeah, I haven't found it in a long time anywhere. And then the last piece I got, this was with the dresses. So I think they just charged me um, $9.99 for this as well. Whoopsie. Um, but it's actually a wide leg jumpsuit, really cute. It has this very interesting front ruffle detail. Um, and it's just really cool strapless. The brand is Keepsake, which I've heard of. And I believe this was sold on Revolve and a couple of other expensive websites. Um, when I looked it up, but there's the brand. It is a size extra small, so that is on the smaller side. Um, but I'm hoping this actually will sell for like the holidays. But again, this would be really, really cute for someone to wear to a wedding. I think this would count as black tie and you get to wear pants, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cute. Hopefully someone will buy that. <laughs> Hopefully someone will buy all these things. Okay, so that was the first Goodwill that I went to. And then I went over to this, uh, it's like kind of like a church, not a church run through store, but it's like, they took donations for the church. It's like St. Vincent de Paul church thrift store, something like that. Um, I guess there's a couple of them in this area, but they actually had discounted colors. And first when I went there, I saw a bunch of pieces with the tag, like the brand tag cut out. And I'm like, oh my God, do they just like cut out all the brand tags? Like that's weird, but that wasn't the case. Not everything had its like tags cut out. And after I was looking up the RN for a few of the ones that did, I realized they were all Gap, Old Navy and Athleta pieces, um, which is based in San Francisco. So I think either they get like overstock donations from those stores and they cut the tags out before they send them or maybe they get pallets from them and then sell them I'm not sure but I did um pick up and I'll put it up here one of the items already sold uh it was a dress I was actually gonna keep for myself but I was kind of I don't know it was a wrap dress and it was like two sizes too big and I was like oh it'll be fine but I didn't like the way it looked on me I figured it was old navy or gap but it actually ended up being Athleta and it was a linen dress and it got a ton of attention and it sold really fast. I think I could have got a little bit more for it, but when someone offered me $60 on eBay, I just decided to sell it. Um, I only paid $10 for it. So I thought that that was pretty good. And yeah, it was really, really, really cute. I do think I'll go back to that thrift store um, because it did seem like those, like I was saying, those Gap Old Navy Athleta pieces are very new styles. And some I think were even samples. I'll get into that in a minute. I think I picked a couple up, um, but yeah. And I think it would be a great place to shop for myself as well because a lot of the things were just like $10 and under, which is great. Um, but I also got this dress because they do take raw donations as well, um, which is not Gap. <laughs> I was kind of debating it because I don't know how trendy this lace overlay style is anymore. To me, it reads a little bit dated, um, but the model picture actually made it look um, a lot better. 
It's Bardot, and I think they're kind of known for doing this like lace crochet overlay on their dresses. And it's a size six or a size small. Oops. <laughs> And yeah, I really liked the model photo. I paid $10 for this as well. Yeah, I thought that the some of the tags were like 25% off and then some were 50% off, but I guess not. Or my cashier was really distracted, I don't know. But I spent $10 on this and comps looked pretty good, so I was glad about that. Then I went over to the kids section and I found three of these Athleta kind of cropped long line sports bras. Um, in the girls section. I got one in light blue, one in tie-dye, and one in this really pretty emerald ribbed green. It's ribbed. <laughs> um, and these were in the kids section, but all of them had the um, information ripped out. So when I saw them, I'm like, those don't really look like kids items to me. I mean, they're very, very small, but I was like, maybe they're just like a very small women's piece that they put in that section. So <clears throat> I bought them. They were all half off. So they were $3 each. Um, and I decided to list them as women's extra, extra smalls. And I included the measurements and everything. And they had been getting a bit of attention, which is nice. I think I listed them for 30 bucks each. So if I could sell them around that, I'd be very happy. So this, I think, was one of those sample pieces from Old Navy. This one I know is Old Navy because it had this little tag in it and it says Old Navy Active, or just Old Navy. It says Power Soft, Medium Petite, Go Dry, Made in Indonesia, but I can tell that that is the Old Navy Active logo. And I was excited because some of these like athletic body suits, you know, with the shorts, are very very trendy right now it has this low back um and it's ribbed and it's a really really pretty color this is getting a lot of attention um and i have crosses to this i think this one i listed for 45 because i actually had a size and some identification of a brand but i could not find anything that looked i mean i found some things that kind of looked like it like sleeveless long panted bodysuits but this is long sleeve short bodysuit um, I couldn't find it. So I'm guessing that it was a sample piece. Maybe it's gonna be coming out. Maybe they decided not to sell it and then they got the sample pieces here. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I thought that that was fun. And then I got pretty much the same one in brown. I was actually gonna keep this, but this looks absolutely terrible on me. Again, I think it's just too big. <laughs> Um, I listed it as a 2X and, you know, took measurements and everything. And that's like, again, like two sizes too big for me, especially in Old Navy. Um, but yeah, couldn't find anything about this. I'm hoping that these styles just haven't come out yet. And then eventually they'll have the model photos for them. So I can like show people what they look like. One of them was $10. One of them was half off. The blue one was half off. So I only paid five and the brown one was 10. And I was going to keep it. So I think that's why I paid um, more for that one. All uh, right, and then I'll get into my last pile, which is from a Goodwill that I actually had really, really awesome luck at, and I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Um, I did already sell one piece. I found a few, um, or a couple, I guess, Madewell jeans that were newer styles, and I decided to pick a couple up. So this pair already sold. This was the OG Straight, I think they were called, and they were actually in a size 27 tall, which I've never found made well in talls or shorts before maybe petites but never like talls so I thought that, that was pretty nice uh, again jeans at this goodwill were also ten dollars ninety nine cents so you know good and bad if I found a really great pair that's cheaper than my goodwills in Portland would have been but I can't just like I see a lot of those bread and butter brands that I like want to pick them up but it's not worth it for me to pay eleven dollars for let's say a pair of can can jeans which I keep seeing pairs of that sell so well for me but I'm only gonna get between 20 and 30 dollars for them so after fees and everything is just not gonna be worth it. I also forgot to mention this piece that I picked up this day. I put it away in inventory and I totally forgot to share it with you guys but it was my absolute favorite piece I found so I did want to mention it in this video. It's from the brand Wilfred which is an Aritzia brand and personally my favorite Aritzia brand that I can find. It usually sells super well. This one I believe was cashmere and it's just so cute 
with the hearts on it. Um, I didn't include the model photo as my listing photo because I have had Poshmark take down almost all of my Aritzia listings that I've had their photos for, like their model photos. So just so you guys are aware, um, if you do sell Aritzia pieces and use model photos in your listings. But I did pick this up for $9.99 and it's been getting a ton of attention. I got a couple of other pairs of jeans, so I might as well show those. This is another pair of Madewell jeans that I picked up. I'm definitely sticking away from the skinnies because they're just not doing well for me. Um, but these were the slim demi boot. Um, so I thought I'd give those a try. The Cali demi boot, I think they're called, are like, if I find those, I can sell them so quickly. But these are also a tall, a 26 tall. And I think whoever donated these, I think they were the same person because they're all like newer styles. I think they're all from like two years ago. Yeah, spring of 2020. And they feel like they've never been worn. So maybe they just weren't their size. And then I picked up this brand that I've actually never seen before. It's the brand Edwin and they're the Sophie Jean. They seem to sell um, like originally for like couple hundred dollars I want to say really expensive and they're just felt really high quality these are also 26 so a pretty small size but I don't know they don't have much attention right now so they might have been a bad buy but we'll see hopefully with the fall and winter coming up people will be buying a ton more denim because I have a lot of it because I love to sell denim um but yeah these were also 10.99 and then I got a couple of pairs of pants. I've never seen this brand before, and originally comps looked pretty good, um, but it could just also be because these are like a springy summery type of pant that I might just be sitting on them for a while now, but they're the brand Mar Margaret M, and they're a size medium, and I think this is like a Stitch Fix brand um, from what I could see, or maybe just this pair was sold on Stitch Fix, but I don't think the person ever wore these either. These feel like brand new um and pants I think were nine dollars and 99 cents yeah I think everything else I bought this day is nine dollars and 99 cents all right and I think the rest of the stuff I have are dresses I want to say dresses yeah I'll start with this because I also haven't listed this yet because it has an issue um I've never sold this brand before but comps looked really good and this was a bigger size and it was new with tags um, it's the brand JJ's House, which I think is like a Zazi, um, where they sell like bridesmaids, prom dresses, kind of like, um, I don't even know, not fast fashion, but like you go on there, then you like pick whatever color you want, you pick whatever size you want, and not that it's custom made to you, I don't really know how to explain it, um, but yeah, it's just they have a bunch of those kinds of dresses on it, and this was new with tags, and that's why I bought it, and it was this really pretty emerald green color and it's a size 22 so really great size and a really great option um and i did find the style and everything online which was great but it's missing a belt which is not a big deal but then it has this weird like discoloration part right here i'm hoping it's dirt um i haven't even attempted to like even wipe it off or anything yet i'm really hoping it's not like a sun bleach stain you know when you leave something out in the sun but I think that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone dropped it. I found a lot of new tag stuff, like dresses and things there, but then they all had like a stain on it. I don't know, I guess I missed that in the store, which is again, really unfortunate, but I haven't listed it yet because I need to figure that out. Might end up selling it as is, we'll see, I don't know. I don't wanna have to take the tags off and wash it just for it to not come out, you know, I don't know. And then this, I kind of just like knew right when I saw it that this was a Lulu's dress, um, but it's a really pretty white lace handkerchief hem, um, again, kind of like that overlay style dress. This is actually still for sale on their website, I think for 70. Um, someone had like hemmed it, like took it in on the sides, but like really poorly. So I was able to take it out, no problem. Um, back zipper, it didn't um, have the label or the size here, but it did have an inner tag that said Lulu's. Um, and then when I measured it, it's about a size extra large, which was great, great size. And I think this will still sell really well because of how popular um, it is to dress up for your bachelorette party or um, a reception dinner. No, what is it? 
rehearsal dinner, bridal shower, stuff like that. You need a million white dresses for it. Um, I know I didn't have any of that when I got married. Um, me and my husband eloped, but I know that that's pretty popular and it's really cute. And again, it's still for sale on their website, which is great. All right, I think two more things only. So this is a brand I don't usually pick up because I haven't had the best of luck with it, but I know it's expensive and this is actually a jumpsuit. So I thought it was really cute or like a play suit. It's like oversized, found a model photo for it. It looks really cute. It's the brand COS and it's a size six and it was new with tags, which I think was probably the biggest reason why I bought it. If it wasn't new with tags, I don't think I would have picked it up for $10, but it was originally $135. Um, and yeah. It's really cute. I've gotten um, good attention on it. It's a dark navy color. And yeah, model photo's cute. I'm excited about that. And then the last piece I got, um, and what you probably saw in my thumbnail, was this absolutely stunning vintage maxi dress that I had never heard the brand of before, but when I looked it up, comps looked really, really, really good. Um, so it's like an A-line long maxi length dress with like crisscross in the back strappies very 90s um and then embroidered flowers and then all this hand beaded like stems all the way down um i know it's hand beaded because it says it on the tag but i just saw the dress and i thought i'm like oh my god that's like stunning it's vintage but for ten dollars i don't know i mean i got that red one for no reason <laughs> um before but I think maybe I was like I already got a vintage beta dress do I really need to get another one um but I did do like a quick look up of this brand even though it's very hard to read because it's in cursive um but it's like Diane Frez or Frez or something I'll have the listing up so hopefully um you'll be able to see it there but yeah it's vintage and uh this brand can go for a lot of money now this I did not see a single dress like this this is very simple it seems for what a lot of people are selling by this designer um most of the stuff is very very colorful very 80s um and this is very much like 90s very simplistic i mean just stunning it's a size 10 which is also great i think i, I mentioned that but i wanted to reiterate and it's in really great condition i think i have this listed at 200 and i have been getting attention on this mostly on Poshmark and Depop um maybe when my mom sends me that mannequin I'll take a picture of it on there and it'll look even better but yeah I was shocked and then the cashier was like "Ooh, what a nice dress you have such good taste and I was like thanks <laughs> um but yeah I'm really excited about that piece it was definitely my favorite piece that I found today I did spend a lot of money probably somewhere between one and two hundred dollars on all these things which is on the high end of what i like to spend that's why i loved going to the bin so much i could spend like 50 bucks and get you know 10 times as many things probably even more than that but gotta do what you gotta do i need stuff to list so i just went out and i did it um i'm still on the hunt looking for more like affordable options like a honey hole maybe like i used to have with really good brands and things were very affordable um but yeah still on the hunt for that i do have a bins i mentioned in my last video and a lot of you guys had a lot of great suggestions about that as well in sacramento it is an hour away but I definitely think it'll be worth it. I think there's two and I went to the smaller one, but I did find good stuff. Um, if you didn't see that video, I found a few really good pieces and yeah, I just need to get my butt back up there and buy a lot more stuff. So I don't need to like source every day. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought about this haul. Um, let me know what your favorite piece was. Like I said, this is mine. I really hope by the time this video comes out that it's sold and you guys can have a better idea of like how much this brand can go for. But yeah, let me know how your sourcing and selling is going and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!